And so they have come out and said aspirin is good to take to reduce risk of heart attack, stroke, and colorectal cancer. But they've been very specific about who should get it. They said your risk over 10 years should be at least 10%. And you should be at least in the uh, 50 to 60 year age group. Once you're older than that or younger than that, they really don't have evidence to say it may benefit you, although certainly the older group we tend to give people aspirin for. Now the other caveat is if you have bleeding problems, uh, if you've had GI bleed, you've had blood in your, in your stool before, you've had uh, ulcers before, <clears throat> that's a risk. Or if you take lots of what we call non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents, these over-the-counter medications we buy for arthritis and pain, ibuprofen, naproxen, things like that, that can actually get you into trouble. So they're saying don't take the aspirin if you take a lot of those pills too. Aspirin in a man will lower their risk of heart attack, but not so much lower their risk of stroke. Aspirin in women lowers their risk of stroke, but not the risk of heart attack. And this is in primary prevention, meaning patients that have not had either before. It's all based on risk. If you're high risk, you're more benefited by the, by the aspirin. If you're low risk, you know, the benefit's very low. The second thing that's very good is the risk of side effects from the aspirin, you know, the bleeding from the aspirin. That's very important. Because what most people don't realize <clears throat> is that while our risk of heart attack goes up as we go through life, our risk of bleeding with aspirin goes up faster. <laughs> so you actually need to be higher risk at, a, at an older age for heart attack or stroke to, to warrant aspirin than you do at a younger age.